All right, this is a really cool pattern. And I had originally heard this way back when I was in high school. I stumbled on some YouTube video of Jackie McLean playing at some jazz festival. And I remember him busting out this pattern and it really caught my ear. And I transcribed it and practiced it a bunch. But unfortunately, I went back to try to find it and I couldn't find the original source. So I don't have the video that this came from. But if my memory serves me correctly, it started out with like a really cool vamp on some sort of dominant sharp 11 voicing. It could have been A flat. I, obviously, I don't remember the exact key. My memory's not that good. But it was something around there. And he busted out this pattern. And the thing that's cool about this pattern is it's atonal. So you can kind of put it anywhere and figure out ways to weave it in and out of different tonalities because it plays all 12 notes. It's actually a 12 tone row within the first 12 notes of the pattern. So if you're unfamiliar with what a 12 tone row is, it, the basic idea behind it is you have some sort of pattern or some sort of grouping of notes where you play all 12 notes without repeating any of them. So every note has to be played before you can repeat the note again. So the, the simplest example of that would be a chromatic scale, which people don't typically you know consider a 12 tone row, but technically it is because you're playing every note before you repeat the C note again, right? You do every note from C to B, and then you go back up to C. So this is a 12 tone row, this is atonal, so you can kind of use it anywhere. And the idea behind it is he's taking perfect fourths and just moving them down in whole steps, alternating the pattern, but it's just fourths and whole steps. So the first one is from B to E with your ring finger, so you're going up, you're ascending a fourth. And then the second pattern of fourths is A and D, but instead of going A to D, he does D and A, so he reverses it, so you go down a fourth, so we have... And I'm pulling off from my ring finger from on the E to the D. Okay. And then your ring finger goes to G, and then pinky goes to B flat. Or I'm sorry, not B flat, C. And then you pull off to B flat with your middle finger. And then pointer finger on F. Okay, that's the first part of it. And then you slide your pointer finger down to E flat, put your middle finger on A flat. And then my ring finger goes to F sharp and C sharp. And after the C sharp, I pull off to B with my pointer finger. And then pointer finger goes to E. So you're seeing this, obviously, this fourth shape all over the place. And then my ring finger goes to D and A. Pull off from the A to the G. A lot of pull-offs in this. I'm sorry. So then G to C. Slide the C down to B flat and then play F with your pointer finger. So we have... Finishes off with ring finger on E flat to A flat, pull off from the A flat to the F sharp, and then C sharp. So really slow. <laughs> 